In this video, we'll talk about controlling and organizing the animation timeline. In the current scene, a variety of different animations have been applied to both parts and cameras. All of the different animation nodes are visible in the timeline, with the default name of the part or camera plus the animation type. All of these nodes can be adjusted in real time by scaling or shifting them on the timeline. I can also toggle animations on and off using the checkbox associated with each animation. Our playback controls are at the top left of the timeline window. We can use these to jump to the beginning or end of the animation, scrub through the animation one frame at a time, or play a preview in our real-time window. You can pause or play the animation preview by pressing the shift key and the spacebar at the same time. We can enable or disable looping by hitting the loop button and control our timeline settings using the gear icon. This is where we can choose our frames per second and if the list doesn't have a value you're looking for then a custom value can be entered manually. You can also adjust the quality settings for your preview render by increasing the seconds or max samples for each frame. The animation wizard is a quick way of adding in part, model, and camera animations with a step-by-step -step interface. The zoom slider on the top right controls the scale of the timeline, and we can adjust this as needed to see detail within our timeline. The blue flags control the working area. We use them to define the playback area for our animation. We can isolate a specific area, and when we hit play, this will be the area of our timeline that is played back in our real-time view. We can also scrub through our animation by dragging in the area above the animation nodes. This is a quick way of seeing the animation progress and the preview line shows us where we are in the timeline. Once we start to create more complex animations, keeping the timeline organized will be key to controlling all the individual elements. We can drag individual animation nodes to help group them. For example, here I'll move all the camera animations together for easy access. We can also add animation nodes into folders. I'll hold down shift to multi-select all these part animations, then right click and select add to folder. I can give that folder a name like parts moving out and now all the nodes will be contained within a single directory. I can now move or scale the entire folder and its contents will be scaled proportionally. Condensing the folder also helps free up some space on my timeline. Now instead of manually mirroring each of the individual part animations, I can select the Parts Moving Out folder, right click, and select Mirror. Now I will have a folder with all of the mirrored part animations in it, which I can then rename Parts Moving In. You can find more tutorials at keyshot.com learning.